Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. I almost went live mute again. <laughs> I don't know why I keep hitting that button. Hopefully it's not mute. I don't see the mute button flashing. Anyhow, welcome to Facebook Friday. This week we are using the Bright Skies bundle. Here are the dies. Here's the stamp set. I have fallen madly in love with this bundle. Um, I ended up, usually Facebook Friday has three projects. I like to do four, sometimes five. This time I have six projects that I ended up doing, but just because I couldn't stop. It's so much fun and it really gets me excited for spring. I know, you guys ready for spring? Okay, let me navigate over to, so let's see, to Pink Buckaroo so I can see your comments. All right, I've got some hair sticking up. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to see yourself on camera. It's just the best. Not. Hi guys, so glad you are joining me. Okay, so if somebody will go check my blog post and tell me if it's up, peakbuckaroo.com. I just finished it. Usually I try to get done early, but if you'll go check it, make sure it's up, make sure the PDF is up. Um, today we are doing three projects using this bundle and the paper that coordinates with it is from the Celebration catalog. We are almost halfway through Celebration. Um, celebration is when you get something for free with every $50 you spend. Hey, Denise. Um, there are also things in here you can get for $100 or free when you spend $100. So today's paper, like last week's paper, is one of the things you can choose for free. Um, it coordinates really well with this bundle. Really cute. Okay, um, let's talk about, you know, no, I'm gonna save that because we actually, I was thinking, where's my calendar? February, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll start here. Club Create. I think we are almost, oh, it's up, good. Thank you, Susan. I think, you know what, I have a calendar right here. My mom bought me this cute little National Parks calendar. The seventh is the last day to sign up. Okay, so we still have another week. I was thinking it was this week, which kind of put me in a panic because I don't have the next set designed yet. Club Create. February kit is the perennial lavender suite. It's gonna use both painted lavender bundle and perennial postage bundle. Five projects, four cards, one 3D item, holds a little hand sanitizer, super cute. Um, this is my subscription program, like Paper Pumpkin. It's mine, hello, Jessica. Um, this is um, $45 a month. It includes about $25 in product you get a full or half pack of paper, a full bolt of ribbon, a full pack of embellishments. It varies each month depending on how much thing the things are. So you use those on your projects and then you have a whole bunch left over to make even more projects. Um, the $45 includes that, the five projects, a video and a PDF and postage. Um, and if you, it's a subscription, which is through PayPal. It's going to you know charge you once a month. If you only wanna do once a month, sign up and then um, cancel it. You can cancel anytime you want, but if you stay six months consecutively, um, you get a $25 product bonus on your six month, which can be anything you want that will fit in your kit's envelope. So it, you know, it's kind of a good deal to stick around for six months. Um, so anyway, perennial lavender, um, this is what it looks like. You guys comes in this new, these are new the last couple of months been using these. Um, looks like this. You can, you have the opportunity to add on also to Club Create. Um, if you don't have the stamps and you want to get them, you can add them on to your kit. When you do that, I pay shipping and tax on them. Um, what else do I want to tell you? So you can subscribe. There's a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. When you open that, it's going to give you all the details. If you kind of are like, what, what is she talking about? They're all typed there coherently. <laughs> I think, and there's a link where you can subscribe. Um, if you have questions about that, let me know, all right? All right, um, I'm gonna switch the camera around because I have something to show you guys, little sneak peek. Well, you know, I'm gonna save that to the end, but I am gonna go ahead and switch you around. Let's see, switch you guys around. Um, so there is a free PDF on my blog right now for today's projects. Looks like this, 
pinkbuckaroo.com. If you've never been there, you can hop over there and find it. It's under the last photo. You can't miss it. It's a big icon that says, click here for your PDF. Um, but speaking of PDFs, I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know what? Let me get my other stand for my iPad. Hold on. Because that one's just going to keep falling down, falling down, falling down. I have bought several of these and they're so good. I have one in the bathroom for my phone <laughs> while I'm getting ready. I have one in the kitchen. It's so nice. Anyhow, let's get that situated. Okay. Um, speaking of PDFs, this is the last time, the last Facebook Friday, I'm going to talk to you about our all-star tutorial bundle. Do you guys see this, this clothes pant or this clip that I use on here? See what it says? Social studies and science. Can you guess where this came from? I used to be a teacher. <laughs> I remember one of my um, coworkers made everybody a little set of these and I still have, it's been a long time. This is my 10th year not teaching. Um, it's a little bit beat up, but I'm still good. Okay, anyway, uh, so that was a squirrel moment. The All Star Tutorial Bundle is a PDF subscription. Um, well, you know, that's not a fair representation. The reason why we decided to come up with this God, I don't know how many years it's been, like six years now, is because we wanted to have something to gift our customers with when they spent over $50. So me, Kylie Bertucci, other demonstrators got together and we started compiling tutorials each month. And it's evolved over the years. And now each month we pick a suite from one of the current catalogs and we each design a project with that suite. Then we compile them in this PDF. And the PDF has... Um, measurements and in both imperial and metric in case you do not live in the United States um, and then each video each project has a link for a video tutorial so you have 12 video tutorials I give this away for free with anybody who spends $50 with me um, each month so this is uh, what month are we January's now the subscription part of that is for those of you that just want the PDF, you're not gonna shop with me, maybe you're a demonstrator, maybe you have your demonstrator, whatever, but you want the PDFs. They're always available in my PDF store for $15. But twice a year, we open a subscription option, which means um, you get, for the price of five, you get six. Does that make sense? Your sixth one is free. And you can pay for it monthly, uh, or you can pay for it all in one lump sum. Um, it's interesting, it's like half and half. People who subscribe, some pay in a lump sum, some do monthly. Either way, um, if you are a subscriber, then you're gonna get it delivered to your inbox uh, on the first of every month. So just a little FYI, and I just finished my project here. Here's my project for January. All right, it's a little slider pop-up box. And then February, we are doing that perennial lavender bun or sweet and I just finished this box something from Bath and Body Works is in there and it smells delicious but that'll I'll give you the details on that pdf next week it'll be available on February 1st but if you want to subscribe the cutoff is January 31st okay so make sure if you want to subscribe and get that six month for free you want all six of them make sure you subscribe by the end of the month um on today's uh Facebook Friday pdf there's a link right here for you. You can click that. There's also a link at the bottom of really every blog post that I have. Okay. Okie dokie. Now, do you guys want a sneak peek? Ah, uh, hi, Angel. I love the um, painted lavender stuff too. It is just gorgeous. And lavender, there's so many lavender things out there. I've been noticing when I'm shopping around the stores, there's a lot of lavender things. So you can use it really good, really well for, you know, gift, gift project type things. Okay, look, you can see my lights. It looks like Mickey, doesn't it? This is the Glass Matte Studio. It is awesome. I have been using it like nobody's business. I really like the grid markers on here. Um, I haven't used this yet, but as soon as we do something with watercolor, I will. Maybe we'll do something watercolor next week. Um, it also comes with this little chamois. So how do you get this? The only way to get this is to buy the starter kit. And in um, January and February, you can get the starter kit. Here's information about it on page 18 of the Celebration Catalog. Um, actually, no, not page 18, page 
16. Um, if you buy the starter kit, it's $99. You pick out $125 product that you want from either catalogs, the spring catalog or the annual catalog, and then you get this on top of that for free. 60 bucks is the value, plus free shipping. Now, I know some of you already have glass mats or you don't want the glass mat. If you don't want to take advantage of that promotion, there's a, there's like an alternative starter kit promotion. You get um, an additional $30. So you would get, what's 30 plus 25? 55, 155, 155 dollars worth of product for $99. And then you get to take advantage of all the perks of being a demonstrator. You get a discount um, on your own purchases. Uh, you join my team, you get all my PDFs for free, discounted class kits. And anyways, that is that. It goes through the end of February. If you have questions on that, please shoot me an email. Um, there's no dumb questions, obviously. There's no dumb questions, so just ask. Um, okay, sneak peek. I spent the last day and a half, two days, really trying to get my classes for February. There was two classes I wanted to do. These will be up, these will be open for registration next week. Um, this is February's, there's going to be two classes in February on top of the perennial lavender clip crate, two standalone classes. And if you get both, you'll save on shipping. Um, so this is the excellent eggs, Valent uh, Easter treats. Easter is the last Sunday in March this year. Um, I think it's like the 31st or something. Um, anyway, this, the Easter eggs class is all, uh, little treat items using these, um, eggs. And it's so cute. These dyes are so adorable. Um, I think my favorite project in here has to be the little shaker box. I use that bunny and look how the little, can you guys see the, the shakers in there? It's really cute. Anyway, this is the treats class, and I will send out an email and a blog post about this next week um, for you guys who need some Easter crafting options. Now, the second part, the second class that I'm offering is Easter lilies, and this is just cards. I know some of you send Easter cards, and this is a beautiful, beautiful bundle um, in the spring catalog. It's... Um, the Easter lilies bundle and it has some great uh, Easter sentiments he is risen God is good I really like these trust in the Lord with all your heart so I have five cards with this bundle so I have something for everybody if you like treats I've got a treat class if you like cards I've got a card class if you like both you can get them both and save on shipping um, so be on the lookout for that details coming next week I just was proud of them and wanted to show them you to somebody who would appreciate them you know if i showed them my husband he'd be like um okay nice so i have to show you guys it's really cute i had fun i had so much fun really with those easter lilies did not expect to love it as much as i did and i really did okay well that's the end of my announcement section um all of that is on the second page of the PDF today over at pinkbuckaroo.com. Man, January 29th, 2024. That looks so weird, 2024. It just looks weird. Um, yes, Lisa, today, I, got, I sent you an email. I, don't, I haven't checked mine. I don't know if you got it. Um, as I was typing lilies, I was thinking, because I keep spelling it wrong, and I was thinking of your granddaughter. I don't know why, but it popped in my head. Um, anyhow, you, this is free for you over on the blog today. Um, so the other part of Facebook Friday, we do three projects every Friday featuring one bundle. And the other part, let's see, do I need to lower that? No, that's about right. Um, the other part of Facebook Friday is that you can get these projects for free. Um, if you like them and you want me to send them in a little make and take kit to you next week, I will do that um, with any order. You, you can order anything you want at stampinup.com. Um, that's more than $35 before tax and shipping. And um, then I send them out on Wednesdays. Okay, I totally thought somebody was opening the door. That was a really weird sound. Hmm, I'm home by myself, so that really creeped me out. <laughs> anyway, Facebook Friday packets, I send them out without fail on Wednesdays. Sometimes even I send them out on Tuesdays. Um, the deadline, if you would like these for free, is um, Monday, midnight. Uh, all orders over $35 using this host code um, will earn them for free. And you will need the bundle, okay? You will need these stamps and dies. I don't 
send any stamped images. There's a little thank you tag in there, but everything else you have to stamp yourself. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Man, that like gave me like a hot flash or something. Hold on, let me get my drink. It's really weird. It sounded like somebody was opening the door. It's locked, I don't know why. I would think someone's opening it. Anyhow, let's get started, you guys. Today's projects, I think, are pretty easy. Um, one, and, and if you would like a swap, lost swap update, my lost swaps are still in St. Paul. So if you live in St. Paul, could you please go to the post office and tell them to find my package <laughs> of swaps? There's 40 swaps in there. You know, you can't replace them. Anyhow, the reason I bring that up is because this was my other swap card. I showed you one of them last week. Um, and this is the other one that I sent. And that's what we're going to make, okay? Um, this paper is so fun. I love paper. If I had to pick, I know, Trisha. I keep, I keep checking it. I need to stop checking the tracking. And every time I see that it says still in transit, uh, it says, still in transit, scheduled for delivery January 4th. I'm like, oh, <laughs> guys, come on, find it. Anyhow, um, this paper is in the Celebration Catalog. It's one of the things you can get for free. Um, there is my Celebration Catalog. I was looking for, I had to pull a new one out. Is that it? Did I put the other one over there? Anyhow, um, this paper coordinates with these dies. So... Um, you'll see that this pattern, which is my favorite print in the whole package, this die fits here, this die fits here, and I love how they have different patterns, like polka dots, stars, swirls, just all kinds of really cool things. So, double um, dipping with your dies, not only will they cut out the stamped clouds, but they'll cut out the DSP clouds the designer series paper clouds. And so this is what it looks like. Oh, you're not supposed to have three pieces in there. <laughs> Just two of each. But then the other patterns look like spring to me. Um, yesterday, I on my blog, I don't know if you saw it, I did a card with this paper. And Petal Pink usually isn't one of my favorites, but I really liked it with um, Pecan Pie and Flirty Flamingo. And of course it's gingham, so you know I'm gonna use it, or it's check. I don't know if you consider that gingham. Um, we've got some uh, flowers and rainbows. This is the piece we're gonna use on our first card. Now these patterns right here, the strawberries, I was thinking would go really well with the soda can bundle, which I haven't used at all and I cannot believe it. I have it on my list. We're gonna use it, I promise, it's so cute. That's an online exclusive if you haven't seen it. It's a, like a soda can. Pop, Coke, soda, whatever you call it. We call it soda. Anyway, I thought this paper would be cute like for a strawberry soda. Um, there's butterflies, more beautiful flowers, the sun, and the cherries, which would also go cute with the soda pop. And we have a cherry stamp set too. And then we're gonna use this pattern as well on the next card. Okay, so it's 12 by 12, and you um, get two sheets of each double-sided design. All right, well, let's make this. We're gonna need a piece of grid paper. Let me pull one out of here. Um, again, I can remember exactly what I was watching when I made these swap cards. I, I don't know what it is in your brain that something like a smell or, or you know, an action can trigger a memory, but I was watching some cheesy Hallmark Christmas movie when I made those, and every time I look at them, that's what I think of. All right, we're gonna start with a pool party card base. And I'm gonna use, can you guys see this pattern or this, um, well, yeah, I guess it's a pattern of words in the background. We're gonna use this one that says, bright skies are on their way. And I'm just gonna do pool party ink on pool party cardstock. And I can tell you right now that they're not gonna be straight. See, look, all right, it's crooked. But you're only gonna see about, what is that, half an inch? around the border. So I'm not too worried about how it's gonna look uh, crooked wise, because you won't be able to tell. All right, so each time I'm trying to kind of put it, you know, sometimes um, 
you can see the word brighter, sometimes you can see the word skies, but go all the way around until you are done, okay? Now, would I want my card to look like that? No, but we're gonna put a piece of paper on top of it. See, voila, and now you can't see. But it's just a cute way to fancy up your card base. I like to do monochromatic stamping on my card base. All right, come on, Facebook, show me comments. Simply Sparkling, thank you, Cynthia. I am the worst with names of um, stamps. I can't remember the name of a stamp until I've typed it on a PDF. And then after that, I usually can remember it. I have to type. Oh, Stacy, <laughs> that would be, that sweet. You know, I told you guys that my local postmaster called me about it and said to file a claim on it, which I haven't done because I'm just holding out hope. Um, but she um, was sweet and was like, well, you know, call the company. I'm like, well, it's not that kind of package. It's something that really can't be replaced. Wah, wah, I know, I know. Okay, now we're gonna stamp the sun and Daffodil Delight on basic white. And we're gonna stamp on this little sliver of a piece of basic white, we're gonna stamp, here it is, Pretty Peacock. I really found the uh, color scheme of this interesting, this paper. It's Pool Party, Lost Lagoon, um, and pretty peacock and maybe balmy blue in there too. Um, I just thought that was an interesting combo to do with, um, there's my husband's truck. You can probably hear it, um, with a rainbow. Cause I would have done, you know, the standard rainbow colors, but no, it's like a, a blue themed rainbow, blue green. All right. Now this piece of glimmer paper right here, we're gonna cut the dots out of it right here, or the raindrops. And I thought I was gonna cut raindrops out of just pretty peacock paper. And then I remembered, ooh, wait, no, we have pretty peacock shimmer paper. This is in the soft, what is it called? Subtle shimmer pack. I put it on the PDF. What did I what did I write? Soft shimmer specialty paper. And it has five different colors in it. All right, so we're gonna cut the, the raindrops out of that. Then the sun, we're gonna take this die. Now, one thing I have found is that the sun is not asymmetrical. So you have to turn it until you see all those little triangles lock into place. Um, at first I thought, well, you know, maybe that's right, but no, you'll know as soon as you turn it and it's, there, it's in the right place, all of those little points will be locked in exactly where they're supposed to be. Okay, so just turn, turn, turn until you get it. All right, so let's run this through. I, when I recorded these individual videos yesterday, I got brand new plates out um, to make the videos, these things, and look how much I've already used it. A ton. My plates don't stay nice and pristine for very long. All right, so we've got a white cloud. This is my favorite cloud in the bunch. And of course they have stitching on them which I'm a sucker for. Anything that's stitched, I'm gonna want. All right, and so here's a little pro tip for you. You're gonna need your, take your pick tool for this, um, both for this, doing like that. Also, you're gonna need the putty end, okay? So make sure you have it with you. Now, when you make swap cards, you really have to, well, okay, me, this is me. When I make swap cards, I really have to keep it simple. Otherwise, then I'm kind of pissy about it. You know, like, oh, I can't believe I'm making all these cards. Ah. So I have to keep it simple. <laughs> so I think this is pretty simple. I don't think it's too complicated. Sometimes I get a swap card and I'm amazed, amazed at how, you know, how much work somebody put into 20 cards or 30 cards or whatever but I always really like to keep it simple. All right, we're gonna put this on with dimensionals like that. Nope, let's go up a little bit higher because we need to leave room for our raindrops. Sprinkled with love, I think that's a really, really cute saying. And then we'll take our sun. I think I used the sun, yeah, I did, on all three projects. All right, we'll put that there peeking out. And then where is my glue? Am I just looking at it? Yeah, oh, it fell back here. 
a package coming from Stampin' Up. It was in one of those white envelopes. It never did come after six weeks. They sent me another. The package finally came and it looked like it had gotten stuck in the conveyor belt and was all gnarled up. Pam, you know, so I really hope that that's what happens. Not that I want it to be all messed up, but I just feel like, okay, it's gonna show up eventually. Like, I'm just gonna hold on to hope that it's gonna show up. You know, I get things happen there when they are dealing with thousands of packages. Um, but, you know, it doesn't make you feel any better. I saw yesterday on the Nextdoor app, do you guys see how I just put those on with um, liquid glue? And you use your little take your pick tool to pick them up. It makes it so easy. Um, this is Pretty Peacock and Gold Ribbon. It's very, very lightweight. And I'm just going to tie a bow. We're going to tuck it behind. But I was going to tell you guys, yesterday on the Next Door app, this woman, she said that there was a box on her porch that had no label. No address label, no return address label, nothing. She asked the UPS man about it. And he said, oh, that's from Amazon. So she opened it and... It was nothing she or her husband had ordered, um, and it's something very, very specific. And so if there's anybody in her neighborhood who is missing a package, to email her the contents of the box, and she would give it to them. Well, you can imagine the comment section went crazy. People were trying to guess what was in the box. Um, but also, I'm looking for my many glue dots. But also, um, there were lots of people with missing packages, like a lot. Where are my glue dots? So, you know, that just goes to show that it happens a lot. I think the companies, you know, they must build that, that loss of, you know, profit into, <laughs> into their, their um, you know, whatever, their pricing, because it was like a lot. All right, so I tucked that bow behind, and that's that. I also thought it was um, brave of her to open a package like that. I think I would be kind of nervous to open a package randomly on my porch with no, you know, with nothing labeled on it. Um, Tony says, I mentioned last week that I sent my hubby a package from USA to UK, and after a year it came back to me. He was my boyfriend, and by the time we got packaged, he was my hubby. That is so funny. Don't give up. It took my year. Oh, that is so funny. Well, the problem with that is that then everything's going to be retired, and I can't use it. You know, I can't use them. Whatever. All right. Well, I will let you guys know. You've encouraged me to hold out hope. Okay, what do you guys think? Pretty easy, right? Sprinkled with love. Happy birthday. Thinking of you. Thank you. Whatever. You can even stamp a second sentiment on the inside. Really cute. Happy birthday. Whatever. I think it's cute and easy. Okay. Let me turn the air on. It's getting kind of warm in here. Today is one of those days where it starts out cool and then it's going to get warm. Our rain has finally stopped. How are you guys doing? Have you survived the weather? I know it's crazy weather all over the place right now. Okay, now, the next card is one of those I probably would not do for a swap. It has a lot of layers. Um, you know, Shelly says, I had one stuck somewhere, and, and I once I put a claim, it showed up. I thought about that, too. Maybe I should go ahead and file a claim, huh? Maybe I should. Okay, I will do that. Um, 63 degrees and snow due on Sunday. Wow, that is a big swing. All right, so this card I designed to show you different ways, different um, dyes. You know what I just realized? Hold on, hold on. Oop, take a break. I forgot prizes. Look, I forgot. Sherry, you're the winner. La, Sherry at La Bombard. You're the winner, Sherry, of last week's prize. I totally forgot, it's just sitting right here. Sherry, I think I have your mailing address, but message me or email me just in case. And then here's next week's. Um, bundle an awesome perennial postage bundle you can enter to win by just sharing the video on Facebook or YouTube okay now back to our regularly scheduled program <laughs> okay we're gonna use the dies we're gonna do lots of layers here and we're actually starting out with if I can get it off this tray come on fingernails you need to work let me see hold on 
we're actually using a basic black card base. I know, which is kind of like, everybody's like, eh, I don't like basic black, but I love, look how it makes the blue pop, right? And look, we're gonna carry this um, into onto the inside as well. Thanks for the shares, guys. Love it, thank you. All right, we're gonna start with a piece of the designer series paper, the paper I just showed you, right? Four by five and a fourth. Now we're gonna take, we're gonna do several things here. Here is a piece of pool party, and we are gonna cut this. I need to make a little more room. We're gonna cut this with the edge dies. Okay, I'm just gonna set that down there. Um, let me show you, it comes with these two edge dies right here, okay? So we're gonna cut the, here's my sample. See right here, we're gonna cut two edges. Okay, that's the first thing that we're gonna do. Then we are going to cut out these clouds right here, but first we have to stamp them. Can you guys see the embossing on there? I don't know, it's not showing up. Let me see if I turn it this way. There, there, now you guys can kind of see it, right? So it's white embossing on white cardstock. So let's do that, let's stamp those. I've also cut out ahead of time our silver lightning bolt, a smoky slate cloud. All right, so um, where'd my stamp go? It's right here. So we're gonna stamp this in Versamark, but before we do that, you wanna use your embossing buddy, okay? Remove any static that's on there. Okay, good, I'm glad you can see it. It's kind of hard to, sh to show, but up close it's really pretty. Um, this cloud is made of rainbows. Oh, I can't see, did I stamp that right? I think I did. I felt like it kind of stuck in the middle. But we'll be able to see once we put our um, embossing powder on it. If you ever have problems with your big photopolymer stamps where they won't stamp on the inside, um, get a foam mat and put underneath it or like the glass mat that I had earlier helps. Um, you can use fun foam, piercing mat, Sometimes just moving to a different surface helps. Okay, so can now can you guys see it? Isn't that cute? All right, so then we've got this one. We're also going to, yeah, that stamped perfectly. We're also going to stamp the sentiment that we're using this time, which is right here. When you use your um, embossing buddy on black you have to use it really light otherwise it looks like a chalkboard see that which I kind of like too so you have to decide which look you're going for but I'm not going for that look here we'll just rub it softly um, and then we'll get Versamark again I re-inked my Versamark um, ink pad yesterday and oh my gosh why did I wait so long <laughs> it had obviously been very dry and I didn't realize it. It was stamping so much better or my stamps were stamping so much better. Okay, so now you're gonna, with a heat tool, with a, for the magic of television, I already did it. So we have those. We're gonna cut this one out with a matching die. Um, what else? For the inside, we're also gonna cut out um, two of these, where's my, see, two of those. And then last but not least, we're gonna cut out this little cloud right here. Let's cut the paper down with a matching die. You can see I've already cut a bunch of them out. All right, so now let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. This is gonna take us several run-throughs, I think. Oh, my son, thank you, and Margaret, I appreciate it. I knew I was forgetting something on the white. Thank you. Did I take my Daffodil Delight ink back away? I did. Okay, Daffodil Delight, same as before. Put it right in between our clouds. Oh, I better keep that over here because we're gonna need it again. Okay, now, I don't know why today I'm just making a huge mess. Um, this is really hard to see, so you wanna get real close to it if you're worried about it jumping because once you 
And I don't have my post-it tape here. I was just using it, here it is. Once you heat emboss a paper, the heat causes the paper to warp. And so your dies may not lay down flat like you need them to. So a little bit of post-it tape always helps. All right, so turn, 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 turn until it clicks into place right there, okay? All right, so we've got that. We'll do this one right here. It just sets right on top of there. Um, let's do this. I'll do it like that. Maybe a little bit further. I probably need another piece of pool party. But maybe we'll just do one today. Okay, everybody stay in place. Run it through. Okay, we've got that. Let's get rid of that. And then we've got this. There's our, oh, so pretty. Okay, we can put the sun back. Got that one on here. You know, some dies, I don't know why, some dies stick, you know, the paper sticks in more than others. Some don't and some do, but this one seems to really hold on to that paper. It doesn't wanna let go. Okay, let's run this through and then we're gonna do that last piece. I like that the die set came with two of the border dies, two different ones. For one, you can cut two things at once, but also they're not, you're not gonna have two borders that are exactly the same. Okay, so take your four by five and a fourth piece, and I'm just gonna put one like that, and Let's do one, mm, let's go up a little bit higher like that, okay? All right, locate the clear plate. Carefully run it through. And there are our two pieces. Now, I need another one of these for the inside because you we need two for the inside. And I didn't cut my paper big enough, so let's see if I can get this one. We'll cut a straight edge on it, and then we'll just do like a little border on the edge. Uh, it might not be, oh well, we'll, mm, we'll try it, we'll try it. We may only do one, because this may be, because I'm doing it diagonally, it may be too short. We'll see. All right, I think we have all of our pieces, goodness. That was a lot. Let's look at them so that you can see exactly what we have. Two embossed clouds, a sun, a DSP cloud, the smoky slate cloud. These two are gonna go on the inside. So we'll set those aside. And these two, we've got the lightning bolt. These two need to be stamped. So let's grab our grid paper and pool party and a blending brush. I wanted, because the, the paper, the DSP, the pattern paper is pool party, I really wanted my you know, lowest layer of clouds to pop. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of pool party to the edges. Okay, and then one more thing. I don't do simple very well. Have you guys noticed? <laughs> I have to do a lot, a lot of details. All right, then I'm just gonna use the little like rain stamp to add some texture to our cloud. Now, we're ready. We are ready. So let's get this. And the first thing that we're gonna do is add these guys on. For some reason, my iPad will not show any comments. Even when I'm watching other Facebook Lives, it doesn't do it, won't show me. Oh, did I put, no, it doesn't look very dark. Okay, yeah, I did. All right, so that's gonna go there. And then 
So we'll put this one here like that. Now we're gonna get these embossed clouds. You could also dry emboss them, you know? That would maybe simplify it a little bit or just cut them out plain. And we're gonna do one and it's gonna be off the edge like that. See how it's off the edge? And then we'll do the other one down here like that. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors or trimmer, whichever you feel most comfortable with and just trim it off. I hate cutting that beautiful cloud, but we want it to match the straight edges. Okay, see how that works? All right, now let's get our smoky slate cloud and we're gonna tuck it in kind of behind. And then our sun is gonna be tucked in right here like that. A little lightning bolt is gonna go right here like that. Boy, we had some serious rain here. It's our second rainiest January ever, you guys. And I know to some of you that's whatever, but here where we are in a major drought, remember my lake dried up? Um, it was really awesome. It was really, really awesome. All right, that one's gonna go there. I like the rain. We just really don't get enough. Now I also cut those or emboss those words. Here we go. I already embossed these. I didn't get the punch, the banner punch. So I'm gonna show you guys, if you don't have the banner punch with you or you don't have it at all, you can make a banner like this. You cut right in the middle and then from the corner, you cut diagonally to that line, to the bottom of that line. And it makes a banner. See that? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna put that right. Oh, I don't know. Why is it covering the clouds? Maybe my clouds are too high this time. It's all right. It still works. And we'll put that right there. And let's cut that one off. All right, have we done all of our pieces? We have. So now, because we haven't used enough dimensionals yet. Let's really go for it and add another layer of dimensionals. And put this here like this. All right, and then, you know, let's add some rhinestones, some rhinestone raindrops. You know, I mean, why not? There we go. Now for the inside. Here's your basic white piece. I don't know if this piece is long enough. Oh, it is, it is, it is. Okay, let me clean this stamp with my chamois. Thanks, Mary, I appreciate it. I like this, this card too. All right, we're gonna add these raindrops across here like this, and I kind of did them at different intervals. I do not want to stamp on my table. But I want to add a little bit more right there. And we'll put some right there. And then I could I could bend over and pick up that grid paper, but I'm too lazy. Let's see if I can get just just one little rain line there. Okay. There is a hair that will not go away. Now we've got our two cloud decks, if you will. Cloud deck, that sounds like a weatherman term. And we'll put this one right here. Cut that off. And then we'll put this one on top. And then, you know, if you're like me and you don't like writing a whole bunch of stuff in a card, now you don't have to because you made the inside of the card smaller. <laughs> it's the cheater method. Now you have a much smaller place to write your message if you just can't think of the words. How cute, right? So cute. I've been really trying to embellish the inside of my cards, especially a black card base, you need to do it. 
Okay, there you go. So cute. So, you know, super simple and super layered, right? Two different cards, but they're both pretty cute, I think. Thanks, Joy. Okay, let me clean up. I'm thinking, do I need this? Yes, let me clean up because for some reason I've made a gigantic mess today. It's because I put this tray down here. Okay, do we need this? No. Do we need this? No. This. I'm just going to get as much junk out of here as possible. Trash, trash. I need like some, some hold music. Please hold while I clean up. Next week, we're going to do the Adorning Hearts bundle. I started creating with that today, the Adorning Hearts. And let me tell you guys, wow, it is so much fun. I had no idea. It's the brayer embossing. You brayer the embossing folder. You lay the die down. You put your paper and you run it through. And it is gorgeous. I just was like doing different colors. I couldn't stop. It was so fun. So if you haven't checked it out, you got to make sure you'll be here next week because I'm excited about it. Okay, last but not least, we have a 3D project. <laughs> it's kind of silly. I really wanted to make a box out of the large cloud die. The large die is really large. It's pretty big. All right, let me get these back on here so that you can see. This one right here is pretty big. So we're gonna use that to make a box. And guess what's inside? Rainbows, of course, right? Because that's what you would find after the rain, a rainbow. Gummy rainbows, they're so fun. I've, I've used them before for um, St. Patrick's Day. I linked them today on today's post. They're from you, you know, Amazon, of course. All right, so let's make the box first. Let's see. Make room. Why? I, I don't know why everything just seems out of... Maybe it's because I have my iPad there and not to the side. Everything just feels chaotic and unorganized. I don't know why. Okay. I'm just, let me see. Um, Lisa, okay, you're going to need to see it in action because guess what? I was a little like, ooh, this is going to be a mess. No, it's so easy. It is so easy. And honestly, a little addicting. I, I just wanted to keep brayering and brayering. It was really, really fun. All right, on today's PDF, down here are the measurements for this box. The bottom of the box is five and a fourth by six and a half. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully my scribbles were right. We're gonna score it at one and three fourths on all four sides. One and three fourths, one and three fourths, one and three fourths, okay? Now, it's a pretty small box. See the footprint of the box? It's not real big. We, you need it to fit within the confines of our cloud. So that was about as big as I could get the box. Now, for the lid, this is just a box bottom with a box lid, you know, like a gift box that will pop off. So we need to make the lid a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit bigger, okay? And if you've, if you've done this before, if you do an eighth of an inch, it's too much. So my solution to this is to make a shim out of post-it notes, seven or eight post-it notes, and you stick it to the side of your Simply Scored, this only works when you are scoring equally around all four sides. And I don't know how you would do it. I guess on your, on your trimmer, there's smaller lines, so you could just bump it one little, like 1 16th, and that would probably be okay. But put that shim there. Let me make sure. It feels like this one is not allowing the others to stick in the right place. Okay, so now, Put that against the shim and go oh, one. I think I need to get some new post-it notes because they've lost their stick. Two, three, you're gonna do one on each, on all four sides. And then four, 
okay? So one inch border on all four sides. All right, grab your phone folder. Hi, Betty. Well, that's okay. It's recorded. You'll be able to watch it later. Um, Lois, have they been out of the taco gummies? I didn't know they were out. Last year, I saw in my Facebook memories, last, well, that was not good. Last January is when I did my taco fiesta class. That was so fun. All right, we need some clothespins and some liquid glue. And I'm going to, let's do on the short side. I'm gonna snip and cut off the corner. Snip, cut off the corner. Snip, you know, cut off the corner. And snip, cut off the corner. I don't think that's very straight. Let me do that again. Okay, all right. Now, hi, Deanna, how are you? We're gonna put adhesive on the outside of all four squares, and I'm gonna fold them up into, <laughs> Jessica says, I'm not kidding when I say I just finished the Taco Fiesta class. That is so funny. It feels like so long ago. I know, but good, I'm glad. I, I never know if people do them um, right when they get them, because some people, I guess it's different. Some people, when I send a class, they do them immediately because I hear, you know, questions or whatever right away. And then some people, it's like a year later, um, they will email me a question. Why does that look so big? That is not the right size, you guys. Did I use the wrong piece? Five by three and a fourth. That's not right. <laughs> Hold, please. Hold, please. Let me get my post-it notes. I have several pieces of white over here and I was talking, so hold on. I think it's the smaller one. Five by three and three fours. Yeah, five, I scored the wrong one. Okay, let's do it again. Um, good thing I could look at it right and tell. Where did my shim go? Come on, come on, man. So now, what did I need that white for? Probably to cut out the clouds. So I'm gonna need to get another piece of white. Okay, real quick, one, one. I said the measurements right. I just didn't look at the paper when I was doing it. There we go. That looks better. All right. Now, real quick. You still have two classes from your Christmas holiday special. Saving for a rainy day. Fun. That's good. That's a good way to spend a rainy day for sure. All right. Now, I can't believe I'm gonna have to do this three times instead of two. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to think of anything exciting that happened this week, and I don't think there's been anything, any funny stories. Our pool almost overflowed. That was pretty um, exciting. <laughs> First time we, we've, it's really, really rained really good since we had our pool. So now it looks like an infinity pool because this water's right up to the edge. Let me think, um, we had a basketball game. Our poor JV basketball team, they cannot catch a break. They're, um, oh, they're, they're two and like 20. <laughs> They've only won two games and it was the same team both times. They've come very close several other times. They're really good, I just don't know. It's a new basketball program, new coaches. All three coaches are new. Addie is a freshman on the JV team. There's a freshman team also. They are e even worse. They, are, they haven't won any, I don't think. Um, and poor Addie, man, she practices and practices and practices. And she's not, she's not bad. It's just, it just hasn't been a good season. Um, she had to do a free throw this last week with like, she had to do two free throws with like six seconds left and it would tie the game. Well, she missed the first one. It was like an air ball. And she was like mortified. So all the way home, she was like, Bleh. I'm like, but you made the second one. It's hard. I, I could not, I could not play with that kind of pressure with the whole gym looking at me making free throws. I can't imagine that pressure. Okay, same deal. You're gonna do the exact same thing to the box bottom. 
I'm hoping next season will be different because the girls will have played together a whole season. Coaches will have been there a whole year. She said that the freshman team last year was undefeated. Why does this not look right? No, it's right. Now I'm like scared. What did I do? Did I mess it up? All right, fold the men, fold it up. Yeah, it's right. There we go. Bye, Lois. Um, no, Cliffy, they did not have to change schools. That was really important to me. I did not want them to have to change schools. We would not have moved because that that's hard when you're in high school. I mean, I get it. That would have been really hard. Um, so, no, that was good. We are further now from the school, but same school. Okay, oh my gosh, that took way longer than it needed to. Now that we have these two, box bottom, box top, okay? The measurements on the PDF are right. I was just blind and didn't see them. Now, to make this little cloud with the little grass line on the bottom that has a stitching, the first thing you're gonna do is cut out a um, granny apple green, border okay just a strip put it down here at the bottom like that and then um no susan i haven't um i know they got him but i don't know she was going to take him to the vet the next day but i didn't hear back from her so yeah i know funny right funny funny how that happened but i think he's probably fine she said uh he looked pretty good. He had a few scrapes and he was skinnier, but she said he was pretty good. Okay, so see how I've put this cloud here so that it's gonna cut out, the bottom of the cloud is gonna cut out with that grass line on it, okay? Now, I gotta get another piece of white. Hold on. All right, here we go. Let's see, is this one big enough? Because I used my stamping white and made a box out of it. Ay, ay, ay. All right, now, you got your two clouds. Um, we need to do a sun. Have, I did some things ahead of time. Where are they? Didn't I? Yeah, right here. Let's see, I've got a cloud. You guys, I'm a mess today. I'm losing everything. <sighs> Is it stuck to the bottom? No. All right, well, whatever. We'll, we'll cut another one. Weird, I cut two of those. Okay, you need to stamp the sun. I really swear I did this ahead of time. I will find them after, after we're done. I didn't want to have to cut the sun out three times. And then we need a piece of pool party. Hmm, hmm, hold please. Blomie blue pool party. They look very similar. I don't have any pool party scraps. What's happening? <sighs> Something. Is it full moon? It is, isn't it? Oh, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. All right, so you need two <laughs> pool party clouds small clouds here we go and your sun for the third time we'll cut out the sun and turn 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 till you find it till it locks in come on come on come on come on come on do 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 there we go okay no yeah okay Last night was a full moon for sure, for sure. Okay, I remember when I was a teacher, you could tell by the way the kids were behaving when it was a full moon, like no joke, always. They were always wilder. Something about a full moon, guys. Oh, you guys, wait a minute. We need raindrops too. Well, you guys, you know, you might as well put your pajamas on because it just seems like we're going to be here all night. I can't seem to get it together. I just can't get it together. 
Oh, Patricia, you know, she says her dad got offered a job her sister's senior year and he turned it down so that she wouldn't have to move. When I was in middle school, um, my dad got offered a job in Dallas and I think it was like between sixth and seventh grade and I thought it was the end of the world. Like I, I mean, it was devastating. And so he commuted to Dallas, which is five hours away for like six months because we couldn't sell the house or hadn't sold the house or something. And then he ended up quitting that job and coming back and we didn't have to move. And I think about that a lot, how different my life would be if we had moved to Dallas, I wouldn't have met my husband, you know, I don't know. Interesting how life works, right? All right. <laughs> Can she finish the box? We're going to do a little, you know what, let's do the sentiment first because I found that you need to stamp your little flowers after you stamp your sentiment. Bright skies, brighter skies are on the way in pool party. Then you're going to do one, two, can we fit a third? I think we can. Three, that's granny apple green. And then Poppy Parade, one, two, three. All right, now, will the box fit? That is the question. Wow, Trisha, that's amazing. Your dad still lives in the house. My parents and oldest sister moved in 1967. Wow. They only had to change schools when they closed. Wow. Okay, look. Oh, it fits perfectly like a glove. You guys doubted me. I know you did. I doubted myself. I won't, I'll be honest. Okay, three rainbows will fit. And then, you know, yesterday's individual recording. I have these projects on YouTube, so if you ever need to go back and see them, um, if you want to make the project, go watch the YouTube recordings because they're much better. But I, the moral of the story, that story is that yesterday I didn't have to edit it at all. It was like perfect. I don't know what's wrong with it with me today. All right, we're going to put this. You want to look at your um, cloud, make sure it's going to be the same um, on the top and the bottom and you just set this down and you got to kind of look. Okay. And then we're gonna put this one right there, like that. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be exactly matching. And then dimensionals, 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 of course. We'll put our one of our pool party clouds here. Then we'll put the sun next. Sun peeking out from those clouds like that. And then I'm actually gonna put the dimensional on the front of this cloud and put it behind our sun like that. And we will do one, two, three, four, five raindrops. And again, guys, look how tiny, teeny, tiny these are. You're definitely gonna want your take your pick tool. All right, what's everybody having for dinner on Friday night? It's Friday night, we never know what to eat. I don't cook on Fridays, I cook Sunday through Thursday. I take Friday and Saturday off. But then we're always like, what do you want? I don't know, what do you want? I don't know, where do you wanna go? I don't know. We don't wanna go anywhere. We just want somebody to come to our house and cook our dinner for us. Or maybe that's just me. My husband gets his dinner cooked for him every night. <laughs> By me. All right, there we go. Now, last but not least. Oh my gosh, it took so long. This ribbon is um, the free celebration pool party crinkle ribbon. Pool party crinkle, crinkle ribbon. And I, these, this glue is probably still drying but i'm gonna go ahead and try it five guys sounds delicious plenty from all week yeah lois are you saying leftovers should we have leftovers we do have some leftovers 
I could just make grilled cheese. Friday night fish fry. It's, mm, so do you fry it yourself or you go somewhere, Wendy? Remember my parents used to do go to fish fried fish places. I don't I don't know if it was actually like a fish fry, but my dad loved fried catfish. All right, and you're going to tie that on the upper section, the lid like that. And then you're going to be done. <laughs> and I promise you, it's not as hard as I made it look. The measurements are correct on the PDF is just me who didn't have the right measurements. All right, pizza night. I am Mary Alice. I know, I know. Oh, look, <laughs> there it is. The sun is probably here too. Um, I love pizza, but also, eh, you know, it's so bad for you. Corned beef, ooh, Olive Garden, Trisha. We have all the brand new Olive Garden being built not far from us. Um, you just had lunch, Patricia. <laughs> Who knows, right? Sunworks at Pizza. I do love Pizza Hut. I mean, yum. So good. I find that delivery, you know, now you can get anything delivered. At least here. I mean, literally anything you want, you get delivered. But nothing is ever very good when it's delivered. Do you guys find that? Pizza is the only thing that's good, delivered. And maybe it's because they've been doing it for a long time, or maybe it's just because pizza, it's pizza. Breakfast for supper is always a good one. Yeah, yeah. Um, Habit burger, no, that sounds good. Um, Hoda Copy today on the third hour of the Today Show was talking about Houston's. And I've heard people talk about Houston's before, and I've never eaten there. And now I really, she's talking about some salad they had with peanut sauce. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I looked it up, and there's not one anywhere near me. Sad. I know I'm hungry too. Okay. Um, so we made the box. We made the multi-layered card and we made the super simple swap card. Um, now all three of these projects are free. If you put in an order $35 or more by Monday at midnight, remember anything you want. It doesn't, if you already have this, whatever, you'll need the stamps and dies to do this. Now, I don't think there's any other shapes that, um, oh, look, I actually used, a, I didn't even realize that I used a banner on that. Hmm. Okay. I thought I had done it like that. Um, I will have the paper scored for you, but you'll need to stamp. Okay. Um, Chinese leftovers. I do have that, Tony. I had Chinese for lunch. I wasn't supposed to, but it was very good. Um, what size is the box? Well, it's not very big. The box measures um, three by one and three fourths. Three by one and three fourths. Um, okay, I have bonus projects for this one. Um, I posted this one the other day. Um, I love this one. I almost did this one for Facebook Friday, but to be honest with you guys, I didn't want to die cut all those circles. <laughs> lazy that would have been a lot actually it probably would have been okay but look there's that um pretty peacock paper again and i made a little rainbow to match the rainbow here and then i use i cut it in half and use the other half inside isn't that cute i don't think it's very cute um then i had this one which is not in the whole color scheme but it is that same paper this sentiment, I pulled it out because it has sunshine in it, and I can't remember what it's called. I have it listed yesterday on yesterday's blog post. But then I didn't end up using the sun, but whatever. I don't know, it's still cute. All right, and then, okay, here's Monday's project, you guys. This is so cute. Also something I ordered from Amazon. Rainbow, the rainbow suckers, lollipops. And I made little, oh, the bow fell off that one. We don't wanna look at it without the bow. See, it stands up like that and it holds a lollipop. That will be on the blog on Monday. You brighten my cloudy days. Isn't that cute? So cute. And look, the die has a little stitch circle that you can put on the sun that I think is even extra cute. Anyway, so be looking for that on Monday, okay? All right, you guys, have a great Friday night, whatever you decide to eat. Uh, Lisa, I see your question. Does your putty expire? My unused stuff doesn't stick. That's a very good question that I do not know the answer to. Um, I wouldn't think that it expires. I would think that you have a bad batch. Um, 
because isn't it sealed down in there? You're talking about on the take your pick tool, right? That's a really interesting question. Call Stampin' Up on that, because I don't know. And then, then report back to us and let us know what they say. All right, you guys. I will see you next week with Adorned Hearts. Have a wonderful week, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.